Welcome to another Look Smarter Than You Are with S-Space Tech Series. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, and today we're going to be talking about MDX case and if statements. So what are case and if statements? Well, they provide the ability to have conditional logic within your queries. They will return either a true or a false. They can be used with strings or with numeric expressions, and we can nest them together and use them together within queries. So let's take a look at each one of them individually. First, the if statement syntax. So it's if the search condition, a true part, and a false condition. So this is kind of the way that Excel does it with the true and the false. So if you're used to Excel, you should be used to using this syntax. So what is it? The search condition is an expression that results in a true or false condition. Then we have what the true part is going to be and what the false part is going to be. And this is a calculation or a member set type of function that we're going to use in these. And we could nest these where if it's true, we can have another if condition in there as well. So for example, in ASO SAMP, I want to calculate for credit cards what the fee is. And in this case, the fee is going to be 0.015 of the price paid. So we're using the if condition. So if it is payment type current member credit card, so we only want to do this for credit cards, then the true condition is going to be price paid times 0.015. And otherwise, we're going to set it to missing. And as you can see in my example, when I retrieve the data, it looks good. So what about a case statement? Well, case statement syntax has two different formats. The first one is case, the member name, a when condition. So I could say something like case geography, when a condition, then have a statement, have an alternate condition with the second when, and then an optionally an else statement as well. And it's all ended with an end statement. The second syntax is more conditional. So case when a condition, and this could be if it's a certain member, or it could be something like if sales is greater than 10,000, the word then, and then we have a statement what we want to do. The additional when and else statements are all optional. So if we wanted to have a different condition, when the amount is greater than 10,000, we want to do something. If it's greater than 5,000, we want to do something else. And the else at the end is a fall through in case it, it, some of those conditions are not met. So let's take a look at an example with the case statement. So in this case, I'm using the second format. So it's saying case when is payment type credit card, then we're going to take the price paid and multiply it by 0.03. Our rates have gone up. When it's the payment type of ATM, we're getting charged a fee for that. So it's a lesser fee. It's two cents on the dollar. So price paid times two cents. And then the third condition says when we're not a level zero member of payment type, then we're going to sum up all of the children of the credit card fee. So we'd get a result at payment type. So if you look at the example, you'll see that ATM, credit card, and payment type all have amounts in them. So we've made this more robust. Now, how about combining them all together? So if we look at this statement, the first thing, the first line in red, the if statement, so if it is leaf of payment type current member, so if we are at the level zero members, then I've got a case statement in here to do that same kind of logic, and I change the rates on here, they keep going up on me, but this way we can see that the numbers are different. So I have a case statement in here that is calculating for level zero members, for credit card or for ATM, the price paid times our charge. And then you'll notice that I have the case statement ending with an end statement and then the false condition for my if statement. So the case statement was my true statement. And then the sum of the payment type, which you see in green, is going to sum up all of the children of credit card fee. So again, we're getting ATM and credit card and payment type all filled. So case and if statements are great ways to extend your calculation logic. It makes it much easier to do things. Tips for using conditional logic. First of all, you want to have the most common result as the first expression because the calculation is going to be faster. It doesn't have to go through and evaluate a bunch of if statements or case statements. So if the most common occurrence is your first case, it will do that and then it will exit out of the routine. So it will be much, much faster. So from what I've heard, 
if statements are supposed to be a little faster than case statements, in real world I haven't seen much differences, but it is possible. For me, case statements are easier to read, especially if there are multiple conditions, multiple possibilities. And lastly, you'll notice that in my code I indented it all to make it easier to read.